Welcome back to Worldwide Chocolates Flight Club. December is here. Happy holidays. We've got quite the festive set filled with holiday cheer and themed goodies. We're gonna hop right into this month's tasting. So getting into this month's tasting, we're first going to Danville, France, which is right up here. It's about an hour and a half ballpark from uh, Paris. And we're gonna be tasting the Michel Clouzel 72% dark chocolate bar with cranberries and raspberries. Michel Clouzel chocolate's been around since 1948 and to this day maintains its position as one of the world's finest chocolate makers. This flavor blend has quite a bit of inclusions as you can kind of see in the little uh, window here. So it's got raspberries, cranberries, candied lemon, as well as caramelized almonds. The red berries in particular balance the uh, 72% dark quite well and the lemon is you know kind of gives it a little more zing whereas the caramelized almonds are there for you know a more nutty and crunchy mouthfeel. This honestly could be one of the best bars of the season when it comes to just you know all things holiday-esque. You look at the framboise and crumb and you think that I need to get this for the holidays. I imagine I'm butchering the pronunciation of that, but here's to learning French in the future. So in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy some French chocolate. And this is one of the best bars that you can be having for the holidays. Okay, so we will be moving on to our next tasting, which is going to be Willie's Cacao. Willie's Cacao is absolutely amazing. Uh, they're out of the UK, right up here. There's their just true to the bean and only use cacao and cane sugar in their various single origin blends. Willie's Cacao conches their products in the, think of like a steamroller that's like rolling back and forth. Um, over the cacao that's smoothing it out. He does that at his facility for 21 days. So to put that into perspective, some of the finest coverture makers in the world will explicitly label when they are conching cocoa for three days. And Willie's doing seven times that. Once you taste it, and you can actually you know, feel how smooth the chocolate is across your palate, you'll come to realize why they're doing it for 21 days. This particular bar is at a 54% has the same sugar content as a 70% dark chocolate bar. In the Milk of the Stars bar, you'll pick up you know, pretty strong caramel notes. This is actually an interesting bar if you have your tasting notes from the previous months, um, it is single origin Indonesia, so you have the Indonesian islands here, and it is coming from the Sumatra region, which is um, in Java, Indonesia. So right around here you can see Java and the Java Sea. Um, it would be pretty interesting to compare this to Chocolate Banat's Dark Milk Bar, the 65% that was in a previous month's package. Um, you know, very similar, uh, you'll find very similar flavor profiles, um, difference being cocoa content and process. And if you keep hearing bells, that is, uh, that can be attributed to my little kitten vest that has, you know, each of them have a bell on their collar. So if they wander off, they're easy to find. Our next tasting, and if you didn't notice, I actually have a nice drinking chocolate mug here. Notice I did not say hot cocoa. I said drinking chocolate. And in it, it's, let's set that down. I have brewed up a fine batch of Willie's Cacao 52% drinking chocolate, 
with uh, single origin Colombia, the Medellin Colombia region. You can see we have Colombia right in here. This, yeah, it's just pure indulgence. You can't really put it any other way. Make hot chocolate with it. Drinking chocolate. Make drinking chocolate with it. It's different. This product, you know, also checks all the uh, boxes and that. It's vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, kind of. I mean, it only has cocoa and raw cane sugar. If you're looking to have a vegan drinking chocolate, you know, I mentioned um, with the Momi Sticks last month that you your best bet, rather, is oat milk. It is the thickest of milk alternatives. Willie is doing some absolutely phenomenal things. All right. So now that we have covered Willie's cacao, we are moving on to Ninth and Larkin chocolate. This company was founded pretty recently actually in San Francisco um, and they're focusing 100% on bean to bar single origin chocolate. The founders, Brian and Lynn, only use fine cacao, um, which is some of the, you know, higher end quality cocoa out there. But it's not just, you know, the specific beans that they're using from various plantations. Um, it's more so the trial and error process that Ninth and Larkin is going through because they'll, you know, kind of manufacture chocolate from the same beans in many, many, many different ways. You know, they'll roast at different temperatures, conch for different amounts of times but it's really to find the best end result for their chocolate. And they have definitely perfected the craft. This is coming from Reserva Zorzal, which is an agroforestry project in the Northern mountain region of the Dominican Republic, which Dominican Republic right up here. It is actually a thousand acre bird sanctuary, although they keep uh, 130 acres maintained specifically for growing cocoa. Another interesting piece that I personally love that Ninth and Larkin is doing is their packaging. So you can see all of these marks on the packaging in this particular bar. It's, you know, like a goldish mark on a white package. So what they do is Ninth and Larkin will take, you know, un processed bean, like a full cocoa bean from each origin, send it to a printmaker. The printmaker, you know, puts it in paint and then rolls it across parchment. The finished marks on the parchment are actually coming directly from the cocoa bean that was rolled across it. So, you know, it's almost like cocoa bean DNA in a sense, but each individual origins packaging has a unique you know, kind of pattern depending on how the final piece of parchment came out. This bean to bar blend is absolutely unforgettable. You'll hear the snap, mouthfeel, so smooth. Even the appearance is stunning. And that's before you can even taste it. The taste itself and the aroma, outstanding. I truly believe once you try this bar, you will explore other Ninth and Larkin options. They are some of the finest I have personally tasted. So now that we have covered Ninth and Larkin, we're moving on to our in-flight treat, and this month it's a biggie. We have from Callie's Cookies a Cinnaroll cookie for you. Freshly baked, by the time you're watching this, probably two days ago. Callie's Cookies is located right in Hampton, New Hampshire, close by to us. As Callie is one of our Coco community members, we've had a featured piece on our website about her work and kind of her love and drive in the cookie world to make the softest, gooeyest, best cookie you've ever had. Absolutely blown away. This particular blend is the cinnamon roll, so it's essentially a cinnamon roll in a cookie. This has a brown sugar cookie dough, cinnamon sugar filling, white chocolate chips, and a white vanilla glaze on top. So it's literally all the best and nicest components of a cinnamon roll in a cookie. Callie was actually just featured on a New Hampshire Chronicle piece, and we just did a, a follow-up 
blog post about it, you know, so if you want to check out the link and uh, learn a little more about her company, I will also link it in the description below. But here I am and I can almost enjoy it. I can say I've had a few Cali's cookies this week already, but here's to the next. And with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this month's Flight Club content. Here's to the new year. We've got a lot more fun stuff coming, so stay tuned. Happy holidays. Enjoy the cheery holiday season. And until next month, eat, sleep, breathe chocolate.